the Nikon Z6 II, Sony a7 III, Canon EOS R8, Fujifilm X-T5, and Pentax K12 are the most popular cameras for astrophotography of 2025, but which is the absolute best? We are going to compare them to each other and score them in various categories, with some categories holding more weight than others. In the end, we'll decide which is the best one based on the final score, and we will declare the absolute winner. Let's dive in. First, we are going to compare them on the image sensor size category, which has a multiplier of 3. The Nikon Z6 II is a full-frame camera with a 35.9 by 23.9 millimeter sensor, offering excellent image quality for astrophotography. However, its sensor size is slightly smaller than some competitors, which can impact the depth of field and light gathering capabilities. I give it a 7 out of 10 for its balance between performance and value. Moving on to the Sony a7 III, it also features a full frame sensor, measuring 35.6 by 23.8 millimeters. This camera provides a good balance of size and performance, but its sensor is marginally smaller than the Nikon Z6 II, which might not be as advantageous for capturing the vastness of the night sky. I rate it 7.5 out of 10 for its slightly better sensor size and performance. Now, let's talk about the Canon EOS R8. It boasts a full-frame CMOS sensor with dimensions of 36 by 24 millimeters, which is quite impressive for astrophotography due to its larger size compared to the Nikon and Sony. However, its newer technology comes at a higher price point, which might not offer the best value for money. I give it an 8 out of 10 for its superior sensor size. The Fujifilm X-T5 steps down to an APS-C sensor, measuring 23.5 by 15.7 millimeters. While this sensor size is smaller, it's still capable of producing high quality images, especially when considering the camera's compact size and lower cost. However, for astrophotography, the smaller sensor means less light gathering ability compared to full frame options. I rate it 6 out of 10 for its performance in this category. Finally, we have the Pentax K12 which features a full-frame CMOS sensor at 35.9 by 24.0 millimeters. This camera excels in astrophotography with its large sensor, providing excellent light gathering and depth of field control. Its unique features like the Astro Tracer system make it particularly appealing for night sky photography. I give it a 9 out of 10 for its outstanding sensor size and specialized astrophotography capabilities. The Pentax K12 takes the lead in the image sensor size category with its 35.9 by 24.0 millimeter sensor, offering the best value for astrophotography in Enthusiasts. Next, we are going to compare them on the low light performance category, which has a multiplier of 2.5. The Nikon Z6 II is a powerhouse when it comes to low-light photography. Its 24.5 megapixel sensor delivers clean images at high ISOs, with ISO 6400 being no problem at all. And you can push it to ISO 12800 with minimal noise. However, the files do come out a little pink, which requires some editing. I give it a solid 8 out of 10 for its impressive performance and value for money. Or Moving on to the Sony a7 III. This camera really shines in low-light conditions. It can create usable images at ISO 51200, with color performance that remains unusually good even at high ISOs. The downside? It's not as sharp as some of its competitors at these extreme settings. Still, for its price, it's a fantastic performer, earning it a 9 out of 10. Now, let's talk about the Canon EOS R8. This camera handles high ISO noise extremely well, making it a surprising victor in the astrophotography realm. Its full-frame sensor and excellent processing mean minimal noise even at ISO 5000 and above. However, the lack of in-body image stabilization might be a drawback for some. I rate it at 8.5 out of 10 for its exceptional low-light capabilities. The Fujifilm X-T5, with its 40MP sensor, offers impressive detail, but struggles a bit more in low-light compared to its full-frame counterparts. While it performs well up to ISO 6400, the noise becomes more noticeable at higher ISOs, and the images can appear softer. Despite this, its color reproduction and dynamic range are top-notch, earning it a 7.5 out of 10. Finally, we have the Pentax K12, which is designed with astrophotography in mind. Its ISO range goes up to 819,200, delivering stunningly clean images with excellent dynamic range. The Astro Tracer feature is a game changer for long exposures, but the camera's bulk and weight might not be ideal for everyone. It's the clear winner here with a 9.5 out of 10 for its unmatched low-light performance and specialized features. The Pentax K12 with its 9.5 out of 10 score takes the crown for low-light performance thanks to its innovative Astro Tracer technology and exceptional ISO handling. Next, we are going to compare them on the resolution category, which has a multiplier of 2. The Nikon Z6 II, with its 24.5 megapixel sensor, delivers sharp images that are great for astrophotography, but it's not the highest resolution on this list. It's a solid choice for those looking for a balance between resolution and low-light performance, but if you're after the finest details, you might look elsewhere, 7 out of 10. Moving on to the Sony a7 III, it boasts a 24 megapixel sensor, providing images at a resolution of 6,000 by 4,000 pixels. While it's not the 
highest resolution, its dynamic range and color depth are impressive, making it a versatile camera for various photography needs, including astrophotography, 7.5 out of 10. Now, let's talk about the Canon EOS R8. It features a 24.2 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, which is excellent for astrophotography, capturing stunning detailed images. However, its resolution is not the highest, and it lacks in-body image stabilization, which might be a drawback for some. 8 out of 10. The Fujifilm X-T5 stands out with its advanced 40.2 megapixel sensor, offering an impressive level of detail that's perfect for landscape and cityscape photography. Its high resolution makes it a top contender for those who prioritize detail over other factors. 9 out of 10. Finally, we have the Pentax K12, which boasts a full-frame 36.4 megapixel sensor, delivering superb resolution. Its pixel shift resolution Resolution System 2 further enhances detail, making it an excellent choice for astrophotography, although its bulkier size might not appeal to everyone. 9.5 out of 10. The Pentax K12 takes the crown in the resolution category with its 36.4 megapixel sensor, providing unmatched detail for astrophotography. Next, we are going to compare them on the lens compatibility category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The Nikon Z6 II is a versatile camera that works with all Nikon Z-mount lenses, offering a wide range of options for astrophotography. However, for those with older F-mount lenses, an adapter is necessary, which might slightly reduce the autofocus performance. I give it a 7 out of 10 for its compatibility and the need for an adapter. Moving on to the Sony a7 III, it's compatible with Sony E-mount full-frame lenses and APS-C lenses when used in Super 35 mode. This flexibility is great for astrophotographers who might already own a variety of Sony lenses. However, adapted lenses from other manufacturers can compromise autofocus performance. I rated 8 out of 10 for its native lens compatibility and the slight drawback with adapted lenses. Now, let's talk about the Canon EOS R8. It works seamlessly with Canon's RF lenses and with an EF-RF adapter. It can use every EF and EFS lens made since 1987. This Extensive compatibility is a big plus for astrophotographers with existing Canon lens collections. However, it's not compatible with EOS M lenses, which might limit some users. I give it a 9 out of 10 for its broad lens compatibility. The Fujifilm X-T5 uses the Fujifilm X-mount, which means it works with all lenses designed for X-series cameras. This is excellent for astrophotographers who appreciate the compact and lightweight design of Fujifilm lenses. However, the APS-C sensor means you'll need to consider the crop factor when choosing lenses. I rate it 6 out of 10 for its compatibility, considering the crop factor. Finally, we have the Pentax K1-2. It's compatible with all Pentax K-mount lenses from 1975, offering an unparalleled range of lens options for astrophotography. The downside is that some older lenses might not have the same level of performance as modern ones. I give it a 10 out of 10 for its unmatched lens compatibility. The Pentax K1-2 takes the lead in lens compatibility with a score of 10, thanks to its ability to work with lenses from as far back as 1975, providing astrophotographers with an extensive array of options. Finally, we are going to compare them on the portability category, which has a multiplier of 1.5. The Nikon Z6 II is a compact, full-frame, mirrorless camera, but it's not the lightest option out there. It weighs in at 615 grams, making it a bit heavier than some of its competitors, but its compact size makes it a good travel companion. 7 out of 10. Moving on to the Sony a7 III. This camera is known for its small size, especially when compared to full-frame DSLRs. However, when paired with premium lenses, it can become front-heavy, requiring additional support or a battery grip. 6.5 out of 10. Now, let's talk about the Canon EOS R8. This is Canon's lightest full-frame mirrorless camera to date, weighing just 414 grams. Its slim profile and compact design make it incredibly portable, though it lacks in-body image stabilization. 8 out of 10. Finally, we have the Fujifilm X-T5. It's a compact and ergonomic camera with a weight of 557 grams, making it lighter than many full-frame options. However, it can feel top-heavy with larger lenses, which might affect its portability in certain scenarios. 7.5 out of 10. The Pentax K12 is a different beast altogether. It's a full-frame DSLR with a robust, weather-sealed body, but at 1010 grams, it's significantly heavier than the mirrorless options. Its size and weight make it less portable for travel or long hikes, but it's built like a tank for those who need durability over portability. 5 out of 10. In the end, the Canon EOS R8 takes the crown for portability with its featherweight design scoring a solid 8 out of 10, making it the ideal choice for astrophotographers on the move. The results of our comparison show each product shines in its own way, but the Pentax K12 stands out with its score of 92, with its full-frame 36.4 megapixel sensor and astro tracer technology. It offers unmatched low-light performance, exceptional resolution detail, and unrivaled lens compatibility, making it the definitive choice for serious astrophotographers. Having used it myself, I can confidently say that its robust build and specialized features are a true boon to capturing the night sky with precision and clarity. As for the other contenders, they each have their merits. The Canon EOS R8 impressed with its stellar portability and excellent low-light handling, 
scoring 86.75. Meanwhile, the Sony A7 III at 81.75 comma offers a great balance of performance and versatility, especially in lens compatibility. The Nikon Z6 II holds its own with a score of 76, providing strong low light capabilities. Lastly, the Fujifilm X-T5 with a score of 75 excels in resolution, offering incredible detail for its size. Each of these cameras could be the right choice depending on your specific needs and preferences in astrophotography.